Hey everybody, good morning. Welcome back to Eat Carbs Not Animals. Jessica here. Just wanted to show you how I am preparing my breakfast. This is oatmeal. Um, it's kind of hot right now. Sizzling. This is half a cup of oatmeal. So I need to grab a spoon real quick. Just want to say good morning. This is the day after Black Friday. And I am just Mixing this around here. So what I am having for breakfast, I'm just gonna put it on the one next to low so it can because it still hasn't softened up yet. But um, so what I am doing is I'm having some oatmeal with some broccoli florets and mushrooms for breakfast. So I am doing the starch solution back on it. Um, just wanted to show you these are my broccoli florets and this is what they look like in my steamer. I'm getting ready to steam these. So they've all been washed and rinsed. I'm gonna put the top on and it is cooking right now in my steamer. So I will be adding um, some spices in case you're all wondering like what kind of spices does she use? So what I am going to use is I'm going to add a little bit of turmeric because it's anti-inflammatory, it's really good. In case none of you knew that out there, it's really good for you. And I'm going to add a little bit of pink Himalayan salt to, this is of course to my broccoli and my mushrooms. And then I'm going to add some garlic powder. And that's it, I think, yeah. So just those three spices are what I'm going to add. And um, for my oatmeal, I'll show you what that looks like when it's done. All right, thank you. That's with uh, mushrooms. All I did is I added some nutritional yeast on top and I put a little bit of this less sodium teriyaki uh, on it, which is supposed to be really good for you. So I put that on there. And this is the homemade vegan cheese that I made on Thanksgiving Day. This is a big portion here. Once you refrigerate it, it thickens. And so what I've done is I've gotten a little bit here, which I'm gonna put in the microwave for one minute, and then I'm gonna pour it on to my broccoli. Stay tuned. Hey everybody, so this is what it looks like after I put my cheese on top. I ended up just putting it in the microwave for 30 seconds and it was fine. It warmed up here. And this is my broccoli and cheese and mushroom starch solution for maximum weight loss meal. Of course, I'm going to eat my veggies first. Okay, everybody. So I just wanted to show you how I make my oatmeal. This is just a half a cup of quick uh, one minute oats. I'll show you over here. This is them right here that I use and it's half a cup. So that is boiling and then I just have prepared a uh, half a banana with a small handful of frozen pitted cherries. Doesn't that look good? And I just leave it here in the bowl and then once my oatmeal has thickened because I like it to be a little thick, I'm going to add them to the bowl and then I will top it off with some pumpkin pie spice and just a little bit of maple syrup and a splash of almond milk. So I will show you that in a second. All right, everybody. This is a perfect bowl of oatmeal. This is how you make a perfect bowl of oatmeal. And I just wanna let you know again what we used here to get this yummy goodness. Oh, look at that. I mean, just look at that. Oh my gosh. Uh, what we used here is we used a half a cup of Quaker's one minute oats and uh, one cup of water. We bring it to a boil and I already had the frozen pitted cherries from Walmart and added half a banana. I also wanted to let you know I do add one of these stevia packets to the oatmeal after it's, well while it's boiling I actually add um, one packet and then um, I like my oatmeal to be thickened up a little bit. And then I also put in one tablespoon of maple syrup. Um, and I will show you guys right now. That's 100% pure maple syrup that I use. 
And um, so this is it. This is a perfect starch solution grade bowl of oatmeal. I have already eaten my veggies, which are normally what I eat every morning. Um, the starch solution for maximum weight loss is uh, broccoli florets with mushrooms, and then you can add whatever toppings and uh, sauces and spices that you want to that. But now, I am eating this wonderful, 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 perfect bowl of oatmeal. And again, you can add whatever fruits that you want on it. Um, I did use half a banana and just a handful of these pitted frozen cherries, but this is going to be delicious and I cannot wait. So I hope you guys enjoy that little recipe for the perfect bowl of oatmeal for maximum weight loss. Have a good day, guys. Don't forget to hit like and subscribe. Show me some love. Bye.